Here we have sugar maple, Acer saccharum, Wisconsin state tree. It's also the most northerly maple, meaning it, it reaches the northernmost latitudes of any maple here in the U.S. And it occupies about the northern half of eastern North America. It is an extremely useful tree. As you know, it produces maple syrup. It's the main maple that produces the best syrup, hence the name saccharum for sugar. And um, it's a fairly easy to identify tree. So let's take a closer look at its features. So once again, sugar maple, like all maples, has an opposite simple leaf that is palmately lobed. In sugar maple, the sinuses between the lobes are gently rounded. You can see they're not V-shaped like our red maple, they are rounded. And the tips of the lobes are pointed, but they're not really long extended bristle tipped points like a Norway maple. It doesn't, has a much softer look to it, not as starburst the look on the sugar maple. Also, if you wanted to tell this from a Norway maple, the sugar maple has uh, no milky sap in the petiole. So if you would pull off a leaf in spring and summer, you will not find milky sap in a sugar maple. The other trait that can help you in identifying a sugar maple, especially in the winter months or fall when it's leafless, is that the buds of the sugar maple, and I don't know if you can see that there, but they are pointy, small and pointy. Whereas in the Norway maple, which is the most likely maple you would confuse this with, the buds are rounded. So sugar maple has rounded sinuses, no milky sap, and small pointed buds. Let's take a look at the bark. The bark of sugar maple is a dark gray color, and it's very irregular with some of the um, sort of flattened plates being wider and some being narrower, interspersed with sort of this rough, these rough areas. It can look very irregular and almost messy, not a very nice, tight, tightly woven bark by any means. It gets really kind of shaggy even on old trees. So I think we forgot to take a look at the fruits. Let's go look at those. So the reason I forgot about the fruits is because you actually can't see them very easily from when you're looking at the tree because they hang down below. But we can flip this over and see the paired Samara of sugar maple. Now it's quite a small Samara. It's only about an inch long or so, similar in size to the red maple, much, much smaller than the Norway maple and some other species. And one thing that's characteristic about the sugar maple Samara is that the sinus between the two is very U-shaped, very broadly rounded, and they hang down making this U-shape space between them. The seeds also are plump. You'll notice they're quite round and, uh, and plump there. Looks like somebody's been enjoying a meal from that seed. Um, and that distinguishes them as well from other maples. Sugar maple is a very majestic tree. It gets very large in old growth communities in Wisconsin, and it is a very shade tolerant tree. In fact, it's probably the most shade tolerant tree in Wisconsin, and it's one of the only trees that can regenerate in, the, in its own dense shade that it casts. It grows together with things like basswood on music sites, um, and is actually increasing in the state as succession of our forests uh, goes on and fire is suppressed, creating these more music shady environments. So that's our sugar maple.